Everybody wants to know how I feel right now. You know, I have become the voice of our purpose. You know, what we have all come together to do. And now what has happened 30 years ago has come to light and it's being affecting everybody involved with this. <clears throat> there are contracts in place. Um, there's legal ramifications. I mean, you know, with me even speaking my opinion, but in, in, in this scenario, I got to keep it real to everybody who loved Adventures with Purpose, who loves Adventures with Purpose, who loves what we were able to accomplish in this world. We've proven that what we have done works, it's effective, it's a need for it. You know, we tell people stories. We are the voice for the voiceless. When we are covering, covering these people's stories and going into their homes and representing them and telling their story of their missing loved ones, um, that's what it is we do. Do nothing else, you know? And I'm not just speaking for me because I'm not the only one that's involved in this. There are other people's lives who are affected by this, you know? And that's what this is about. Um, and being real is all you can be. That's all you got in this world is, is what you stand for and how you come up. Yeah, you know, um, done a lot of good in this world and everybody's got a story to tell. Everyone, absolutely everybody has a story to tell. <clears throat> you know, where I come from though, there's codes. Where I go from here, you know, I have a lot of support and I love everybody who's reaching out and telling me and letting me know that that um, I have your support and that you stand with me. And my future is just going to go with being real. You know, I'll continue to follow the passion that I've developed with help, helping people with, you know, telling somebody's story. You know, I come from the towing industry and uh now i pull cars out underwater helping families get answers i've developed that passion it's unfortunate that i've developed that passion and this has happened it doesn't align with what i believe in i have daughters i'm a father and i come from a real rough background and i've changed my life i've become a really good man and uh i've always followed the code and uh that code has been violated. Everything I have learned this past year, it has been a pleasure working with really amazing people, but sometimes uh, things just have to come to an end. Uh, for me personally, this is the end of my chapter. I figured going live would be a lot more simpler than editing a video because I felt as though it could just be over and then I can move on. Thank you guys for uh, being here. Thank you guys for supporting me. I received a lot of love and support from a lot of people. A lot of people have been calling and messaging me and just reaching out. And I appreciate that. Thank you guys for your support and we will see what happens in the future. So I, I'm i not very well known as much as, as some of the other members of, of uh, the AWP team or former members of the AWP team, but um, I wanted to take at least a moment to just say that um, I stepped away. I, I've resigned from AWP due to moral obligations, due to, um, you know, uh, a lack of proper leadership um, and due to uh, you know just needing to do what's right if you are unaware of what is going on right now that is because it has not hit the mainstream yet because it is not proven yet um, in court which is fine, and I'm not here to tell you if it is or is not true, because I personally do not know, and it's not my business to talk about. But what I do know is that my reaction and the reaction of my teammates uh, are not going to be sticking around to find out. Um, 
we are pretty set on sticking to our morals, to our integrity, especially as, as fathers and just decent human beings. Um, but I do want to say that I do not condone the activities that have been reported. And I think that justice needs to be served. If there is a case. I'm a father of a 16-month-old baby girl, beautiful baby girl, and the things that have been being said are unacceptable and unfathomable and raging. Hello, I'm Nick Rin. It's Wednesday, November 9th. Just so everyone knows, as of yesterday, uh, I've formally resigned from my former place of employment working for the search team. After hearing these allegations and listening to the information that's out there and what's available, I'm not okay with this. This is not right. And I can't sit by and support this and wait till lawyers make decisions and people wait to make statements. I, I just can't support it. It's not me. It's not who I am. And I don't want to be a part of it. And quite frankly, if these allegations are true, I hope justice gets served. This is our entire team. Like I said, it's not me. It's not Nick. You know, it, it, it takes an entire village, including you guys, that put us in this position to do this. And it's an honor because without your support, we would not be able to do what we do. So thank you guys. Thank you guys as a team. We appreciate all your hard work on the road. It's not easy. You know, we travel across the entire nation day after day, state after state, city after city, helping family after family and agency after agency. And it, it, it's, a, it's a lot of hard work when we're out here and we're trying to do something that hasn't been done before. And thankfully, we're in the position to do so because of you guys and all of you at home.